NXT had their Great American Bash special. Um, didn't necessarily feel like a takeover, but had a bit of an atmosphere similar to it. Uh, we just had a takeover not too long ago, but I think this was just done to um, to you know stick it to AEW, who's doing their Fighter Fest. They said they call it Great American Bash, but they went all the way with it, and they had to, like a big stage. Uh, basically, it has uh, two sports cars parked at, by the entrance ramp. One's a modern one, one's a, one's a classic. The red, white, and blue uh, ropes are back, which was really cool, actually. They kept up with the patriotic theme. And uh, 4th of July is, uh, is in three days, so they couldn't do it. But it's also Canada Day, so happy Canada Day to everyone uh, in Canada. Uh, but, of course, an american theme show, 4th of July. Uh, I like I like the Great American Bash show. It's a cool show. They should have done it more often. It works well in July because it is uh, you know it's on the fourth of July. It, it works. You know it, I like it. I think it's a better alternative to doing something like Backlash every year. It, at least it gives us something, some theme to it. You had Mountain Dew sponsored a show and they were featured a lot. So you had a fit of four elimination match to become number one contender. You had Dakota Kai against Tegan Knox against Mia Yim against Candice Ray. I really thought LeRae was winning. I was surprised with Tegan here. I thought for sure they had to go with LeRae because she's very good. And they're giving her a push. Uh, I didn't think it would go to EM or Kai. Because Kai is not going to get the push. Gonzalez will. Or Kyle Gonzalez. But um, I, I was surprised with Tegan. And I like Tegan. I'm not mad at it. So what happens is uh, you had me EM. Um, she uh, she was eliminated. So, oh, wait. Uh yeah, the, trying to get this messed up. Uh, I think Dakota Kai, actually, uh, she eliminated Mia Yim first. And then she went over to Tegan Knox to beat her down. Uh, then uh, they had um, the fans got into it. They had Dakota Kai uh, eliminated. And when they do that, they have um, Tegan Knox. Hit her with the Shining Wizard, and she eliminates her. She hits her with the Shiniest Wizard, and uh, she eliminated her. So, um, and actually, the first one was actually Cancer Ray. She was eliminated first. She was uh, hit with a Cold Breaker by Mia Yim, and then uh, Mia Yim was eliminated by Dakota Kai, and then Tegan Knox eliminated uh, the, the, uh, Dakota Kai. So, Tegan gets the win. She finally she's gotten revenge on Dakota now. Of wow, she's been her a couple of times, a couple of big uh, times now. So she's gotten her revenge. She's gonna get the title shot. They have a uh, Sasha Banks and Io Shirai uh, promoted later. It's kind of a dream match. You had Timothy Thatcher against Oni Lorcan. Thatcher wins. Not much of a match. It was very average. Rhea Ripley beat Ali and Robert Stone. Wow, the how the mighty have fallen. Rhea Ripley was in a big program with Charlotte Flair. Just uh, four months ago, or actually, what, two and a half months ago or something? She was in a major program, uh, actually, three months ago now, with Charlotte at WrestleMania. She lost, but she had a great match with Charlotte. Now she's facing Aaliyah and Robertson in some joke. I don't know why she's on the main roster. Uh, this wasn't much of a match. Rhea Ripley gets the win. Uh, Aaliyah's not very good at all. Dexter Loomis beat Roderick Strong in a strap match. Good match up here. This was really good for AEW. Or, I forgot AEW. The NXT, because this is this works with the WCW theme show. They love strap matches. They love those kinds of matches in WCW with Great American Bash. Uh, so this worked well. Works good to have a strap match at a Great American Bash type show. Uh, what happens is uh, you have Dexter Loomis um, get the win. He... Uh, beats Roderick Strong. Not no surprise there. We'll see. He'll probably get. I don't think he'll get the shot with Adam Cole, but he isn't gonna get a push. They do a champion for champion hype up next week when you have Keith Lee against uh, Adam Cole. He had Cancer Ray and Johnny Girl interview backstage when uh, she Cancer Ray suddenly fights Mia Yim and they have a brawl backstage. You had uh, Santana Escobar. With uh, Ron Mendoza, Joaquin Wilde, uh, and they have a new stable. Not that interested. Drake Maverick is there. He interrupts them. And uh, he's, um, he is going to, I think it sets up a match with uh, Fandango um, challenging Elda, Legardo, and Dev Plasma to a match next week on Night 2 of Dynamite. Didn't really care about that. They announced Candice Ray and Mia Yim in a street fight for next week. That's cool. So that's the, uh, the, the Great American... I say down the Great American Mash. I'm messing up a lot. The Great American Mash, which is next week, part two. 
They have uh, Cameron Grimes to accept the challenge. The, sorry, blow off a challenge with uh, Damian Priest. And then finally, main event, Io Shirai and Sasha Banks. Bailey is there. She's with Sasha. It's a non-title match. I thought Sasha would win, actually, because it's non-title and she's going to face Asuka. But uh, she loses to Io Shirai. Um, this was a fantastic matchup. This was great. This was a pay-per-view quality match. Sasha Banks having a very good year. I really noticed that. Uh, she's delivering. She had a horrible couple of years before. It was a horrible 2018 and 2019. And pretty average 2017, to be honest. Here, she's doing probably the best she's done since 2016 with the company. She's doing really well. She is probably going to win the Women's Wrestler of the Year. Well, actually, Asuka. Asuka would get ahead of her right now. But she she could go ahead of Asuka. That's how good the year I think Sasha Banks is having with the company right now. Uh, she's delivering. She is having very good matches on TV consistently with women who are not the greatest wrestlers, but she's having good matches. Um, her and EO did great here. This is a pay-per-view quality matchup. Um, I, I, I think this will be better than what she does with Asuka, to be honest, on the period, because it's a bit different on the main roster. I think we'll have, she'll, this will be better than what she does with Asuka on the um, Extreme Rules. Very entertaining match, went back and forth. I thought Sasha could win, to be honest, because it's non-title, and she's going to go for a big match with Asuka, so they could give her a win over Asuka's friend, Io Shirai. But Io gets the win here. What happens is... Um, they have, uh, near the end of the match, he had Bailey hit an illegal cheap shot, uh, and, um, that broke a submission hold Io had on Sasha, so Bailey gets into a tug of war to free over the belt, meanwhile, Sasha Banks goes there to, uh, uh, get, get the other tag team titles, uh, to use on her, as she grabs the belt, Asuka suddenly appears to stop her from using the belt, Asuka spits green mist on Sasha Banks, Io Shirai hits a school girl, she only gets a two count, then Io Shirai hits a palm tree, and then she uh, crushes Bailey with the wrecking ball, taking her out. Then she hits a moonsault onto Sasha Banks, best moonsault ever. Io Shirai has the best moonsault. Kyrie saying it's the best elbow. Oh, well, that's the number one rule in the company. Best moonsault, pins Sasha Banks. Io Shirai defeats Sasha. Her friend Asuka assists her in the win. Cool win for Io Shirai. Very good matchup here. Great main event. And that wraps up night one of the Great American Bash. We'll see night two go head to head with uh, Fighter Fest. So both uh, both promotions going head to head with their own mini pay per views again next week.